colors. One with 100% a solution, a 50% solution, 25% solution, and then lastly 12.5% solution. To do this, we're going to be using a Gatorade. Um, we're going to be putting 100 um, uh, cc's or ml's into the 100% container. We're going to be using uh, graduated cylinders to, to do that. To start with, I'm going to go ahead and put 100 ml's of Gatorade in the container. And we're going to go ahead and just pour that into our um, a vial or a flask, or in this case, just a cup. 100 ml will go into 100% solution. Make sure we get all of that out of there. And then what we're going to be doing um, is we're going to be taking a 50% of each of, of those. We're going to first of all put that water in each one of those cups at 50 uh, mLs. So to start off with that, I'm going to put 50 mLs uh, right in there. And then I'm going to just check to make sure that it's right up to the level that it needs to be. And once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to set it off to the side. And we're going to then uh, take another 50 mLs and put, put in the 25% cup and keep on checking it to make sure it's accurate. And then lastly, in the 12.5% cup, we're going to be putting 50 mLs as well. And again, check it again to make sure it is accurate. Set that aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be taking 50 mLs of the 100 percent solution and put that in the 50 percent cup and again using the graduated cylinder carefully measure it out so you get exactly 50 mls checking that is it's kind of critical for that so we're just going to go ahead and pour that 50 mls into the already 50 mls container um, and that will make a, a serial dilution of 50 percent uh, i'm going to give it a little shake there to make sure we get uh, um, uh, good dilution. And now we're going to take 50% or 50 mLs of the 50% solution and going to put it in the graduated cylinder. Once I've done that, make sure that again it is accurate. That's why you set it on the table and then we'll just pour it straight into the 25%, making it 25% solution of Gatorade or of salt. And then once we have that done, we're going to take 50 mLs of that and then pour that in the 12.5% cup. So again, carefully measuring 50 mLs. As we do that, we're going to go ahead and give it uh, a little swish and then we're going to put it in the 12.5% uh, cup, which now has 12.5% uh, solution of salt. Um, we should have 50, excuse me, 100, 50, 25, and 12.5%. Now we're going to look at our serial dilutions. You can see that they're 100%, 50%, 25%, and 12.5%. All of those, starting from 100 down, is basically 50% of the salt concentration uh, that we have in the sports drink. First, before we start our first run, we want to make sure that, that that's nice and clean by just squirting that down in the 100% concentration. And now we're gonna turn, turn back to our data logger. When we have that all lined up, then we're gonna hit start. It's right here on the bottom. See that right there, I'm gonna hit start. And now what it's doing, it's, it's recording its first um, run. Actually, this, this, has been, this particular app's been used uh, several times. So that's why we're on run six. So at 1764, we're going to let that run just a little bit longer, see if indeed it, it starts to settle down. Now that our first set of data uh, with a 100% concentration is settled down, we're now going to move it to the next one, to the next like 50%. So we're going to click on this green check mark, and when it moves to the next Now what we're going to do next is we're going to move our probe and again we have to make sure it's clean and then we put it in the 50% now when we go back over here we should see and we do um, a different difference in it because it dropped 50% of its concentration now it's at 997 
and we're going to let that run for a little bit. Now that that's one has pretty much settled down, we're going to click on that 1004 Desi Siemens. Click on this green check mark. Now it's going to go to its next percentage, which is 25%. We again clean the probe. We put it in 25% salt solution from the sports drink. We're going to go back over here and we've seen it drop again. And it looks like, looking at that line, it looks like it's a pretty consistent drop from point A to point B. And on this one, it's around six, a little over 600. This ha happens to be 605.3 deci Siemens. Now on this one, we're going to press the check mark again as soon as it begins to settle. It looks like it's selling right around 106, so we're going to press the check mark. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move the probe. But again, we're going to clean it. And we're going to move it to 12.5%. Now that it's hovering right around 384, I'm going to go ahead and click it one last time, and this is where I'll stop. So this is our lab on how concentration affects conductivity.